after spending the night in Mandri, we are now on our way to Sarmat. It's a two and a half hour journey. First, we boarded a train from Mandri to Wisp, which took about 1 hour and 10 minutes. Then, we changed to another train which will reach Sarmat in around 1 hour. There are so many trees on both sides of the tracks and patches of snow in between the trees. It's February and the maximum temperature in Zarmat is 2 degrees Celsius during the day and minimum is minus 6 degrees at night. So we are expecting plenty more snow as we gain altitude. The surrounding scenery looks spectacular because of the clear sky and the sunny day. snow have been growing larger and larger and now everything around us is completely covered in snow. The beauty is simply breathtaking. Conditions are perfect for skiing and the people who are out doing just that are definitely enjoying it to the fullest. Running alongside the river Vispa, which has somehow managed to keep flowing even as both its bank got frozen over. The turquoise water of the river looks gorgeous under the bright sunlight. This river Vispa runs all the way to Visp to join the river Rhone. As you can see, it's not at all crowded except for a few groups of skiers. 
you will find very few tourists like us at this time of the year the picture is completely different during the summer months though as the train climbs up the slopes it slows down quite a bit and gives ample time to enjoy the charming scenery The train is now passing through a village. There is a thick layer of snow on every rooftop. At the end of a thoroughly enjoyable journey, we're finally entering the Zalmer station. Now it's time to explore this place. We're so excited and thrilled to be here. Stay tuned to find out about our experiences in this famous ski paradise. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.